Hey all, Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we are going to check out the top 5 most popular Super Expert levels of the week for the week of September 2nd, 2024. So let's jump into it. Alright, coming in at number 5, we've got Wired Warehouse 2 by Brand98. It's a fast-paced platformer with some damage boost sections, two checkpoints. All right, so far I like this level. It has some nice flow. Usually brand levels do. Gotta pull back a little bit there for the damage boost. Okay. Definitely fast paced. That was fun. And we're on to the next checkpoint. Excellent, love to see it. Oh, do I jump on those guys? I guess maybe I do. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. Oh, I slipped. Slipped right off the block. I know you can't see it because uh, my hand's covering it, but check this out. Yeah. Got that in like 2019. Ooh, don't hit start over. Alright, so this is a good section, however, I think the last jump is a little too tight. Uh, also, I've, you know, been learning to control some of these jumps so that I save on time. Uh, especially near the end, though, I need quite a bit of time. Okay. So here, 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 here. Please, yes, okay. Yeah, a little tight there at the the very last jump from the boom boom. But whatever, okay. Okay, I think I was supposed to land on the one on the left first. So you gotta kinda chill a little bit, then you can jump on this burner pointing down. Couple little chill spots in that first area. It kinda gives you a second to grasp your bearings before um, the rest of the section takes off. So now we're in the nitty gritty of it. Okay. Nice. Redfish. Good. Okay. Got the redfish, got the green fish first. Jump to the goal. That's all there is to it. That was fun. I really like that level a lot. Let's check out the next one. Coming in at number four, we've got Teresa's level, Cave Exploration, Kaizo Light. Easy Kaizo Light with one checkpoint. Enjoy and have fun. Uh, I peeked at some of the other levels in the list today. Quite a few are by this maker, so she may have recently dropped a Super World or something. It's cool to see new makers. I've never seen this maker in the top five before. So yeah. And Teresa, that's a beautiful name. The spelling of it with the H is a little interesting. Um, that's like old school spelling, I think. I have a sister with the same name, but it's spelled differently, so... Yeah. But Mother Teresa, for example, is spelled with an H. Okay, cool. I gotta really watch these piranha plants. So this feels like Kaizo Light and Precision Light, with some of these jumps being a little tight around the enemies. Uh, notably the piranha plants. Okay, and then, yeah, there's some momentum shifts too. Gotta go straight down, that's a little bit blind. I do know that, you know, there's coin indicators and an arrow, but... Still, what happened to using Mushroom Stump to just line the player up real good? Alright, alright, we're doing it. All right, we're in there. Good, good, good. Next section. Okay, gotta go full on hard momentum to the right. Uh, it was Jesus. Jesus who said, let he who is without stretched setups cast the first shell. Or let they, I don't, I don't remember exactly how the quote goes, but it was something about casting shells. And, you know, don't ridicule makers for putting stretch setups in their levels. We're all guilty of it. I've made stretch setups, too. It's fine. This one isn't even that bad, so... 
Sorry to get all preachy there. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled program. That has been your Bible lesson for the day. Good lord, man. Good lord in heaven. Uh, I, I need to really focus here. Yep. Okay, now we're making progress. It took me a minute. Hmm, I don't care for that very much. Why did that not work? I'm just full jumping everything, but, uh, you know, except for right there where it's obviously just min bounces, but... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see again. Full jump. Okay, that worked a little better that time. Yo, okay. And we're in there. I didn't even bonk on that up pipe, not even slightly. And we are just gonna grab the goal, because again, I'm not an overachiever. I'm just here trying to beat some levels. Do I need the key? Do I need the doors back to the beginning of the level? Maybe. That might be kind of interesting, actually. Let's check it out. Hold on. Alright, I bonked on it that time. So we're back here. Let's, uh... Interesting. There's another key up here. We're gonna just explore it a little bit. Now that's also interesting, because... It's changed now. I... Hmm... I wanted to try to get to the green doors with the switches off. It's fine, whatever. Whatever, we went in the key door at the end. Uh, that was cool, right? I guess. Moving on. Okay, up there in the clouds, by Gugesi is in the number three spot today. Level a little difficult, but I hope it gives you pleasure. What kind of pleasure are we talking about here, Gugesi? Don't get weird on me, bro. Um, I, I think it will give me a level of satisfaction when I clear it. Most Kaizo levels do. How much pleasure I get from Kaizo? Eh, not, not as much, I don't think. Okay. Straight away, we're holding a shell. Should I throw that shell up? No, I throw it forward, actually. Um, so that I don't... Yeah. Don't collide the shell with the Koopa. Hold on. What the hell is Gugesi trying to do with this first setup? Uh, one, two, definitely throw there. Okay, that's his plan all along. Very big full jumps. Alright, so I see what the maker was going for with this level, and it's pretty fun. I think he pulls it off. Um, everything flows nicely for the most part. There's a couple more sketchy spots near the end, but once you get the setups down, it really becomes, like, second nature. And you can blast through the level as you become more familiarized with everything. So, I do like it. All that stuff lines up perfectly, which is so nice. And then that last jump, I actually had to slightly control my jump to meet up with the shell in time. But that worked out well too. The first time I got there, I did all full jumps and it just didn't line up. But that's okay. A uh, little correction here or there. Uh, good stuff. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, we've got Teresa coming in at number two. Enjoy the summer, Kaizo Light. Life's good in summer, enjoy every day, easy Kaizo Light, one checkpoint, have fun. I would say, yeah, regardless of what season it is, to just enjoy the time that we have on this earth and treasure moments with people and pets that we love, because you never know when those moments might be gone. Uh, and, you know, whether it's super snowy outside, wow, that's a muncher on a piranha plant. Or super sunny, you know, or maybe it's just fall, like, treasure all those moments. Don't grow hateful towards any given season, because you don't want to be miserable where you are or what you're doing. And if you're hating on the weather, whether, yeah, whether or not it's, like, too hot, too cold, 
what have you, it can affect your quality of life, so I try to just roll with whatever the weather is. I enjoy the summer, I enjoy the spring, I enjoy missing shells by a large margin and having to start the level over. Uh, all those things, it's, it's the little things in life, right? Anyway, I will, I will get this. And that part isn't that scary. For how scary it looks, it's not too bad. Alright, I was ready for it that time. We prevailed. Uh, some of these mushroom stumps on the background are a little bit tempting. Whoops. I- was I- what a- why did I keep grabbing the vines? They're a little bit tempting. I kind of want to get up there. Can I get up there? I don't know if it's possible, but hold on. Okay, and there's a pea balloon underneath that too. Okay, we got the spring. Now the question is... I could definitely get on that mushroom stump, but... I want to go for the balloon. To do that, I'd have to do, like, kind of a... Kind of a tricky, maybe even a little bit delayed spring midair. Um, let's see. I don't know if she actually thought people could do this or not. Maybe it's not possible, but I feel like it might be... Yeah, like that, but I gotta line it up better. And then just hit a min bounce off that spring and see if we can get this pea balloon and fly through the level. I am so curious if that is doable. Man, that would have been decent. I need to just hit it. So hitting the spring without bouncing off an enemy uh, and just a plain jump from the ground is a little bit tricky. Oh, see there I hit it delayed, but I accidentally pushed the jump button. But I feel like if I just did that without pushing jump, we could probably get that pee balloon. Oh, did you see how close that was? Oh, did you see how close that was? I need a little bit more momentum going towards those pipes. So... Ah, oh, it's hard when you're, uh, I hit the spring two times in a row, though. It's hard when you're jumping from, like, a tile, tile and a half of ground, but... I really want that pea balloon. It's, you gotta be able to get it, right? It's there for a reason. I wonder... Oh, now I've done it. <laughs> I was playing catch. Okay. I don't know. It Was I supposed to... Something didn't work right there. I want the pea balloon, man. I want that pea balloon. I don't know if I can get it. Ah, oh, that was close, too. It's hard. I don't know. It might be... It might be a little too tight for my skill. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, anyway, let's see what else we can do with this spring. I'm giving up on that for now. Okay. There's actually not too much else going on. Alright, I played played around with that spring plenty. Um I I still feel like there's a way to get the balloon but I'm just not gonna go for it because I am running out of time so we can do this and is that it is that all we can skip if I do that I think that's about all we can skip as you can see that freaking big beetle did not even reclaim remotely I mean, maybe we just bring the spring with us. 
I spent so much time, like, just messing around with that spring. All of the possibilities that you could do with it were way, uh, <laughs> way more difficult than actually just beating the level as intended. But fun level, I did enjoy it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we got Teresa in the number one spot. Bounce and spin your way through the house. One checkpoint, enjoy and have fun. It's Forgotten House, Kaizo Light. And yeah, I have, I have four minutes left for my time to record today, so I better beat this one relatively fast. Uh, man, I don't, I don't know if that's probably not like very useful at all. Because I need to bounce off it. Yeah, it helps. It helps set up these next things. So, we're not going to cheese anything with the Shelmet. Might as well try, though. Okay, I bonked my head on the ceiling. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if you can... Maybe I'm gonna try a little bit of cheese. I know I'm just looking for cheese in Teresa's levels, but... Can I jump from the munchers all the way up to the skull lift on the top of the screen? That's a question I have right now. Yeah, you can do that. You can get up there. Now the question is, is there a way back down? If there's no way back down, then it's not cheese. I don't think there's a way back down. Oh, wow, there is a way down. Right here, right here. Wow, okay. You can totally cheese this whole level. Dang, man, okay. I just need to beat that uh, big buzzy from waking up. So we go like that, and then we gotta watch for where we spin jump down. Doot doot doot. Man, that's some lucky and unfortunate cheese. Uh, <laughs> yep, there you have it. Teresa's number one level can be basically completely cheesed. You give a man a shelmet. And he will, what, what is it? Give a man a shelmet, he will cheese for a day. Teach a man two shelmet, and he will cheese for life. Is that a thing? I'm coming up with all these fake quotes today. I'm sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the intended way for this level to be played. I've gone one minute over time on my recording. You know what that means, I might not have enough time to edit and post today, so we may be getting a Saturday video, we'll see. Hit <laughs> to the- okay, we got to the flag, we're good. We are good. Now we can see the other half of the level, there's just a little minor shelmet cheese. Alright, I'm ready. I'm primed and ready to do this level legit. That part needs, like, the hardest hold right. It's fine. You heard the thing about stretch setups earlier. Uh, overall, I really like the level. It's somewhat unfortunate about the cheese, but when you're messing around with shelmets and half height, that's kind of the way it goes. And on that note, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the level IDs into the description so you can check them out. And I will see you all in the next one. Much love, good vibes, and have a great day.